All right, I'm going to go over some layout and look of Avid. These are some little things that you may be familiar with or may not be familiar with on uh, Avid um, and, and, and the look of it. So one thing they did pretty fairly recently is uh, they've made these bins dockable. So you move the size of one, it moves the other size of the other one. Everything's kind of tied in together. Um, I like it. Um, you can you can bring the bin out and have it floating is what they refer to it as and move it around. If you want to move it back, it snaps into place. I can find all these in these green highlighted places. And like the order of how you snap these into place is important if you want to move things in certain ways and have them with the certain do certain things. Um, you can also like call nest these things. So I want this one to actually kind of like see this is a tab here. I kind of want this tab to also appear here. So pull this out and hold Alt, and then you can nest it in there with the other one. Um, so they're kind of like in the same window there. If you don't like that, if you want everything to be in its own window and not tied in together. Let's go to uh, Windows and hit Float All Panels. And see, I've already done weird stuff. This is why I'm not a big fan of it. There we go. So that's floating and resize it. Yeah, this little guy, you can move this stuff all around. I don't like that though, so um, get it to go back in place. You kind of have to do everything in a certain order so it fits in nicely. Alt again, kind of nest that. Okay, so now I've got rid of that craziness. Um, you can also like change the background color of your bin if you wanted to. If you had a different bins open, you're like, oh, this is the one I want to edit from, not this one. Let's make uh well, I think I need to be in some negative space in order to right click on that. Can't make this bin big enough. There we go. So red, don't edit from this one. Green, edit from this one. Uh, or whatever color you want to do. As you know, it's probably while it goes, you can change these colors as well. Like, Just makes things either visually appealing or just easier to, to see what, what it is you want to deal with there. Um, uh, if you wanted to drag this put it in this bin but you also wanted it to stay in this bin if you hold control click click and drag it's in both bins now so uh, I clicked and then held control no hold control click and drag yeah I said it right the first time control click and drag um, yeah, and that's just a, a few of the things you can do on Avid, kind of make things look a little different. Um, you also have like different workspaces, um, so you can have one set up specifically for your color correction, one specifically for your, your, uh, effects. Um, and then you can also make your own. Uh, Windows workspaces, new workspace, kind of create your own workspace if you wanted to do that as well. Um, you can name it. And that just pops up down there. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to try those out. Um, see what works for you. 
because everyone uh, everyone's mind works a little differently. Differently, everyone functions a little differently, so everyone should have a little different layouts.